What's up guys? Welcome back to the Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva and today we are doing the long-awaited episode <laughs> Bloody Mary, which I probably should have done in January and I didn't. Uh, the Bloody Mary's history is it's like another one of those cocktails that can be traced back to Harry McElhone's Harry's American Bar in Paris. Although Harry McElhone himself did not create this cocktail, it was created by one of his bartenders named Ferdinand Petois, who despite his French last name, was an American bartender plying his trade in Paris during Prohibition like a lot of American bartenders did. And, un, un, and, and against popular belief, this drink, a lot of people posit that maybe this drink was named after um, uh, uh, Mary Tudor, who lost her head to King Henry VIII. Um, but that is not true. It was actually, the name Bloody Mary was um, suggested by one of Petois' um, uh, regulars at Harry's Bar, uh, who said it reminded him of one of the girls that worked at a bar called the Bucket of Blood in Chicago, and her name was Mary. Uh, this drink was pretty well received, but it did not um, do very well until Petois went back to New York, uh, after Prohibition and started making these at the King Cole Bar in the St. Regis Hotel. Uh, cool. Check the show notes for a little bit more history and let's get into making this drink because it is long and complicated. Now, I've been sort of avoiding this drink because um, I just Bloody Marys are just so like, mm, it's hard to get a good one, you know, but I think that I got a recipe here uh, that's going to knock your socks off. So let, let's get into it. First thing we are going to do is a quarter ounce of lemon juice, a quarter ounce of lime, a quarter ounce of Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce if you're choosing. Into the mix you go, my friend. We are going to do half a teaspoon of my signature just my own spice mix. I'll put a little recipe in the show notes for you, or I have put a recipe in the show notes for you. And then we're gonna do a, I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of creamy horseradish. Okay. We are gonna do quarter teaspoon of Cholula hot sauce or hot sauce of your choosing. Get out, get out. There you go. Good job. Yay. We are gonna do four ounces of tomato juice. One and a half ounces or two ounces, depending on uh, how boozy you want it. But I'm gonna go with one and a half of vodka. Today we are using uh, Prairie from Minnesota. And then what we're going to do now, here's the thing. We're going to add our ice to a tin. And usually what you would do is called a roll, but because this has elements, um, that, okay, here's the thing. You would only need to do a roll back and forth like this, blah, 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 blah. If you were using Bloody Mary mix that was all together, but because we have horseradish and things of different densities, I'm actually going to give it a quick shake. So we're just going to add that here. And we're just going to do almost like a whip shake, like not very vigorously. We're just gonna like shake to combine, add a little dilution, but not much. Ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a big mess everywhere. That's about all you need. And then we're just going to pour it in our glass and clean as we go, as we do. All right, and we're just gonna add our big ice. Ooh, there's, it's getting everywhere. There we go, perfect, wonderful. There you have it, my friends, the Bloody Mary. Now let's see how well I did with this recipe. Ooh, that's good and spicy. Man, that's spicy. So we're gonna garnish with just a single celery stalk and I'll tell you why. We are gonna garnish with a single celery stalk because I think that people who do too much of a garnish, it's like this, if it takes you longer to make the garnish than it does to make the drink, then I am gonna say that you're putting way too much effort into the garnish. I think that really good Bloody Marys just need a single stalk of celery 
Um, Marius is telling me from behind the camera that he thinks it's a little too big. Maybe we can just like cut it down a little. Ah, yeah? Better, Marius? I think this. Marius is a little bit of a, he's a little bit of a garnish Nazi. I mean, I guess it was a little tall. And there you have it, my friends, the Bloody Mary.